moving on to the next question. It is actually about the secondary growth because till now we have learnt about the root, stem and other leaves and all. That is a normal thing. But when you talk about secondary growth, the main thing is you have to learn the details of secondary growth because lot of questions can appear in the stellar secondary growth, extra stellar secondary growth about the lenticels or the type of hardwood and sapwood and autumnwood and springwood, lot of questions you can expect. I can read the Dodda process here in the yellow top in the yellow wood bacon under stellar secondary growth wood bacon under cameum ring formation. Then, how is the uh, automode, how is the spring wood, and what is dendrochronology? Like, whole story you have to learn. And that may be the Mundi Narta, the stellar secondary growth, Agi the Mele, the pressure akodrinda, the epidermal tissue will break to form the openings called lenticels. Just to protect that, a new type of cambium develops that is called the cork cambium. A cork cambium means it is a meristematic tissue, it starts producing internally and externally tissue, mainly external tissue formed is cork. Hagagi, either extra steel or secondary growth and separate again expect more question. Illa steel or secondary growth and then separate question expect more. So the diagram is given, the question says that the diagram shows the extra steel or secondary growth in dicot stem find the options with correct alphabet matched to their parts means various parts and kottiru do regular pattern ido a question pattern enen kottidivalla parts na a parts na alphabet ke match maadi anta so let us first observe the diagram see diagram chanaga nodkolli neevu extra stellar secondary growth kottidaga it starts with epidermis so this is epidermis epidermis which is broken down so once the epidermis is broken down you will get the lenticel then the supporting cells are there, they are thick walled cork cells, they are called as normally I hope you know that. You should find out the option, in there only you will get the answers. Then there is a yellow color structure given, it is a cork. Then there is another one, the red color one is cork cambium, then secondary growth. So extra stellar secondary growth, first thing formation of a cork cambium. How is cork cambium formed? Cork cambium is produced by the de-differentiation of collanchymatous hypodermal cells of the dicot stem. So, they become a small ring of cambium, we call it as a cork cambium. One more question you can expect in this, what is the derivation or what is cork cambium? It is actually a secondary meristem because primarily it is collanchymatous hypodermis that becomes modified or de-differentiated into cambium ring called as the, it is actually not cambium ring, it is called cork cambium ring. This cork cambium ring is highly meristematic, it cuts off the cells internally and externally. It cuts off the cells internally, they form the secondary cortex. These are made up of chlorenchyma tissue, chlorenchyma cells. Then externally it forms cork. So cork you can make out the cells are slightly square like isodiametric and they are highly thickened with suberin. And they, you must be knowing the cork is highly spongy and the bottle cork they use, what we use for the regular bottle cork, it is nothing but here the plant, quercus plant, from there they take out the bark and they produce this. So this plant is almost all the dicostems after secondary growth form one cork which is outer part and then the outermost part above the cork is called a subsidiary cell. So let us match this diagram with the options given. First option, A option is given, P is cork. So P they have given it as cork, right? Q is phallogen, they have given Q is phallogen. Then R is phallum, then cortex, that is S is cortex, then lenticel. Here so many things are wrong. One is P is not cork. This P is not cork because it is complementary cell. Then phallogen is not this. So first one option is ruled out. Then coming to the second option, P is complementary cell. This is the P complementary cell, it is right, right. Second one, Q is phallum. Q it is here, it is phallum. So phallum is the other name for cork. All of you know phallum is cork. So it is correct. Then R is phallogen. R is this, it is phallogen. Phallogen is nothing but the cork cambium. Then S is phalloderm, this is S given as phalloderm, it is nothing but secondary cortex. And the last option T is lenticel. So all these options are right, this must be the right answer. Therefore B option is right option.
to the leaf, the anatomy of leaf. Normally, leaf anatomy when you learn, taking a section is not so simple. He leaf and then lab and leaf section madadilla, ekadre new root mat stem madbodo, leaf other tumba flat irithala, hagagi bari diagramal note kopakagate. So, dicot leaf with a monocot leaf only, major difference eno, external illa, anatomical difference. First, dicot leaf actually shows dorsi ventral surfaces, dorso ventrally differentiated leaf. What about monocot? It is iso bilateral, means both the sides are equally illuminated. So, monocot leaf we otherwise call it as isobilateral leaf. So, in the diagram we are given the isobilateral leaf, find out the rightly matched options, means what are the alphabets, how they are matching with the diagram. Let us go through the diagram first, then so many things you can learn in the diagram itself because whatever I have labeled, Ide Barbeko and Tienila, Bere Kodua labeling Girbodo, Hagagi Yella labels in a Kalthkumitre, Yaude label Bandrukuda Nibari Bodo. Coming to the diagram, monocot leaf diagram, we call it as isobilateral leaf. What are the parts here? First one, upper epidermis, lower epidermis, cells are flattened and both are, they are equally having coverage of cuticle because both sides are equally illuminated. Then stomata are there, you must be knowing the monocot leaves have same number of stomata on either epidermis, means upper and lower epidermis have same number of stomata. So, either one of them is the same number of the same number of stomata are there, that is the so, we call it as amphistomatic leaf. So, that can be another question because amphistomatic leaf is another question mark. Yeradu side in the upper and lower epidermis only same number of stomata is the amphistomatic leaf. And the monocot pitre second is dicotyl. Dicot leaf is upper epidermis having less number of stomata, lower epidermis having more number of stomata. That is the same hypostomatic leaf. So, that is the difference. Hypostomatic method amphistomatic leaf. Hagagi monocot leaf and then now in the riti karibe kadre amphistomatic leaf and thano karitivi. That is both sides they have equal number of stomata. In non character stomata the guard cells are having what shape? They are dumbbell shaped. Coming to monocot it is always dumbbell shaped. What about dicots? They are kidney shaped guard cells. Here the dumbbell shaped guard cells are there. And near the stomata there are chambers present, these are called as stomatal chambers because whenever the leaves, mainly leaves calcium in the name stomata helps in respiration or exchange of gases. Adre, stomata opening in the plant lose lot of water through transpiration. So, transpiration are because the stomata are beko. A stomatal calagada chamber really water first deposit agate. Then it comes out of the surface and deposits on the surface and then it get evaporated. Then in physiology Normally, transpiration plant water relations are very good. All in a get the ether as tomato the hege evaporate a get the calibre. The diagram not born you. You live on the deposit a get the male bundle evaporate a get the hagagi stomatal main characteristic that helps for transpiration. Actually, transpiration is not help, it is because it is opening, it is going to evaporate. Then coming to the next part, the mesophyll cells you can see leaves are green colored because of the presence of mesophyll. What is mesophyll? It is a modified chlorenchyma found in the leaf. Then chlorine, this mesophyll is undifferentiated, whereas dicot leaf will have the upper part is with palisade parenchyma, lower part is with spongy, spongy and the loosely held cells. This is the undifferentiated, this is a special characteristic of monocot leaves. In non character in between the male male node body, loosely held cells, one do, here are more thin walled cells. Ide, ida na na main health be motor cells, so bully form cells and health be. What's the function of bully form cells? Normally, whenever there is too much of temperature, these bully form cells lose water immediately and they help in rolling of leaves. Leaves zoom ono cot cell ye ke nodir bo niyo maize ir bo do, ila jawar ir bo do. Leaves roll agi pipe tar agir te de. Ek agat a, ak ha agat a andre motor cells help in avoiding excessive transpiration. Transpiration ak ta ak ta plant lose so much of water the plant may die. If you avoid the motor cells, you can roll the leaf roll. So, the leaf roll will be used in the stomach and the stomata will be used in the water loss. So, the motor cells are the major characteristic features of monocot leaf. Then coming to the vascular bundle, you can see the vascular bundle here surrounded by vascular bundle sheet. We call it the bundle sheet and they have chloroplasts. 
actually this is a specific character we call this kind of anatomy as cranz anatomy nimge nenu pirabodu cranz anatomy na c4 pathway anta plant physiology lo uttira idu cranz anatomy anatomical part ili en irutte mesophyll cells are having sorry not mesophyll cells the bundle sheath cells are having chloroplast they take part in photosynthesis hagagi they undergo photosynthesis in which the in the dark reactions it fixes the carbon dioxide through c4 pathway that is cranz anatomy with hatch and slack cycle in the c4 pathway na hatch and slack cycle in the adu physiology part idu anatomical part anatomical part alli neevu mesophyll cell sorry the bundle sheath cells alli chloroplast kanthare idu specific character of maize and sugar cane leaves then inside there is xylem with metazylem protozoalum facing the upper epidermis and this is phloem and the whole thing is having only sclerenchyma cells that is xylem parenchyma irodilla illi phloem parenchyma nu irodilla xylem fibers irutte matte phloem fibers irutte amale idu bundle sheath extension made up of colenchyma so idu gross anatomy of a monocot leaf let's move on to the options given a options idakke hege match agutte anta nodona modalle idu a option alli enide p is bundle extension p is given as a bundle extension and this is wrong first option itself is wrong so a option cannot be right so let's go to the b option p is a bundle sheath p and the idu bundle sheath this is right because p is bundle sheath it is not a, normally made up of chloroenchyma cells then q is motor cells q is motor cell it's correct then r is stomatal chamber this is the stomatal chamber correct s is a palisade tissue s is palisade this is not palisade tissue why because palisade tissue is found only in the dicot leaves where the palisade cells are modified mesophyll cells which are compactly arranged not loosely held therefore the b option becomes wrong then come to the c option p is a bundle sheet this is p bundle sheet right it is made up of chloroenchyma tissue that's correct then come to the q it is a bully form cell this is bully form cell so nimu gotirabodu bully form cells ke innond hesaru motor cell so this is correct bully form cells help in rolling of leaf then r is a stomatal chamber this is right r is a stomatal chamber then s is mesophyll this is the mesophyll so s is mesophyll so this can be the right option then we'll go to the other options another option which is not correct or right let's go through that d option p is a vascular bundle p is not a vascular bundle it is a bundle sheet the inside part is vascular bundle it is a bundle sheet therefore this is wrong q is epidermis q is not epidermis it's a epidermal modified cells called motor cells so q is not a epidermal cell then r is stomatal chamber is right s is mesophyll this is right but first two things are wrong therefore among all the four alphabets given the rightly matched alphabet is given in the option c therefore c is the right option for this question to the another question basically we have to learn first what are the different types of tissues in the animals coming to this we have epithelial tissues in epithelial tissues normally they are called lining tissues i hope you remember we have squamous epithelium columnar epithelium cuboidal epithelium right these three types and that again they are all simple epithelial tissues squamous epithelium is also called pavement tissue having border which is wavy in nature then columnar they are elongated they are they are present elongated on the basement membrane then cuboidal they are slightly cubical in nature then apart from that whenever you study their functions they are in absorptive in function they secrete also they help in movement of things so all these functions attributed to the epithelial tissues so that's a basic knowledge about the epithelium hege israel nodadaga ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವುದು ಈ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಫಿಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಥವಾ ಎಲ್ಲಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಏನು ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಇದೆ ಬ್ರಷ್ ಬಾರ್ಡರ್ಡ್ ಎಪಿಥೀಲಿಯಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೌಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಬ್ರಷ್ ಬಾರ್ಡರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲರ್ ಎಪಿಥೀಲಿಯಮ್ ಹೇಳಿದಾಗ ಬ್ರಷ್ ಬಾರ್ಡರ್ ನಾವು ಹೇಳೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಬ್ರಷ್ ಬಾರ್ಡರ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲ್ ಮಾಡಿಫೈಡ್ ಅಪ್ಪ
cells, right? Epithelial cells. Brush bordered epithelium is one epithelial cell upper area, nali, upper surface, mele, small, small brush like outgrowths. Brush bordered epithelium, right? Those are also called the microvilli. Yelly ruthenta, Yavdana line madatenta. Modern option, fallopian tubes and line madate. Illa second, small intestinal line madata. Third option, is it PCT of nephron, means proximal convoluted tubule of nephron. Last option, enter both B and C. So, we will see the diagram of the columnar epithelium. This is the same thing as cuboid. Cuboid normally also will have the epithelial upper part having small small microvilli. In the basement membrane, the cells are almost standing erect or perpendicular. Then you have the brush borders. We call this as a microvilli, small small outgrowths. Then main function is again absorption increasing the absorptive area. So, where are they found? New structure and intestine node is the idea of the idea. Regular villa is the same. There are also cells in the same way. Villa is a big one. Then, there are also columnar epithelial lining in the same way. That is the micro villa. That is the micro villa. It is the micro villa. It is the small intestine. How do? It is already right. The option is right. And even it is found in PCT, proximal convoluted tubule of nephron. Nephron in a after Bowman's capsule, proximal convoluted tubule barthalva, all the epithelial cells are kuda ninge brush bordered epithelium erodin the absorption of glucose take place. Most of the things reabsorption, tubular reabsorption, at the selective reabsorption madavaga, maximum reabsorption happens with the proximal convoluted tubule by the brush bordered epithelium. Therefore, among the four answers, right answer is both B and C that is small intestine as well as proximal convoluted tubule of nephron.